amendment requires the governor and attorney general to take all necessary steps to immediately terminate the 1953 easement and shut down Line 5 under the Straits of Mackinac. We are the Great Lakes State, and these lakes are home to 20% of the fresh surface water on the planet. We all talk about how important our water is to our state, to our communities, and to our economy, but I just feel that time and time again, this legislature misses opportunities um, to really take proactive action to protect our Great Lakes. Line 5 is 62 years old and carries 23 million gallons of oil and natural gas under the Straits of Mackinac every day. The pipelines in the Straits cross one of the most ecologically sensitive areas in the world. In 2014, a study was done by the University of Michigan's Water Center, and they concluded that due to the massive fluctuating flows of the Straits, it would be the worst location in the Great Lakes for an oil spill to happen. The consequences of a disaster related to Line 5 would be far-reaching and dangerous countless plant and wildlife species, as well as threatening Michigan's $22.4 billion tourism industry. The latest research shows that, the, that a total of more than 700 miles of Great Lakes shoreline could be vulnerable in a Line 5 disaster in both the U.S. and Canada, and that's about the distance between Detroit and Omaha, Nebraska. And, you know, even... I think just even more scary is a recent report by the U.S. Coast Guard stated they are not adequately equipped to respond to an oil spill in this sensitive location. This pipeline is, you know, operated by Enbridge. Enbridge has had problems in the past with, the, with their pipelines. You know, I don't need to go over the details of what happened in the Kalamazoo River, but that cleanup cost on their end was $1.2 billion. They ended up settling with the state for $79 million. I don't want the state to get money from a settlement. I don't want the disaster to happen. We cannot risk a spill in our Great Lakes. Attorney General Bill Schutte himself said in July 2015 that, quote, certainly the Straits pipelines would not be built today. He also said, line five days are numbered. It's been a hundred, pardon me, it's been 292 days since he made that statement. If the Attorney General and the Governor don't have the will and the strength to shut down Line 5, then I think we need to step up to the plate and tell them that they need to do it, and I ask for support of the amendment. Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative. The question before the House is on the adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted.